Paul is saying, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. You know, you, you are playing with fire anytime you do this. If you, you sow to the flesh, you, know, you are sowing seed um, to corruption. You know, that, that's, that's the way the flesh is going. Everybody knows that's the way the flesh is going, right? This argument you have with yourself sometimes, this sort of Jekyll and Hyde experience. Um, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get me killed? Are you trying to get me damned? Uh, that is the end of this kind of behavior. That is the plant that grows from this kind of seed. And so it is a warning to Christians, too, to sow according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. And this does not just mean to resist the works of the flesh and to be good, right? This means primarily to, 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 sow, to, the, to sow to the spirit it means primarily to believe in Christ, to hear the word of God and to, to, you know, to, to let the Spirit work in you because the, uh, the Spirit himself is the breath of God and the Word of God is what the Spirit carries to you. If you want to commune with the Spirit, if you want to have the Spirit have an influence in your life, you hear the Word of God. You read the Word of God. You think about the Word of God. You rely on the Word of God because that is the way that the Spirit has his influence with you.